Happy Friday. Enjoy your weekend coming up. We'll be watching football, making sure that we check out the AFC and NFC Championship games, even though it's essentially a foregone conclusion that the New England Patriots are going to win the Super Bowl again. So uh, you might as well just prepare your body for that. But TJ, I'm going to talk about the Colorado Avalanche, who won their eighth straight game. This is the third longest streak in their entire franchise history and the longest in the NHL this season. Are you starting to believe that this team's for real, or has so much of this happened at home that you still question it? Yeah, I, I think the winning streak is is a, a big thing that they can build on for sure. But I think the more important thing in this is that Nate McKinnon is turning himself into an MVP candidate this year. Uh, in addition to that, they're one of the youngest teams in the league. Uh, they're fast uh, and they're very good on defense. Uh, all of those things coupled with the winning streak, I think lend credence to the idea that they are a playoff team. I don't think they're going to be a the, you know, contenders for the Stanley Cup. They may be able to go on a run like Nashville did last season. But for the most part, I think all of those components uh, in addition to the winning streak, are, are what make me a uh, bigger believer in the Avalanche, more so than I would have been at the beginning of the season. And McKinnon now with the three points last night moves into second in the NHL in scoring. Uh, he's been the best in the league since the Matt Duchesne trade. And when you look at other players on there, Miko Randon now moving to the top 25. Uh, Jonathan Bernier, 45 saves last night. You're doing this with a backup goalie. You're doing this without Tyson Berry, who's still your fifth leading scorer as a defenseman. So the fact that they've risen to this has been impressive. Well, they only allowed 13 goals in the eight-game streak. And that's after allowing three tonight to the San Jose Sharks uh, last evening. So for the Avs, they now take on the New York Rangers. And then feels like we'll really have an idea who they are because there's nine of the next ten will be on the road. Yeah, and look, I think once again, going back to McKinnon, he's the key in all this because everybody else basically just has to play their role. He needs to continue to produce at this high level. And I think that that's a, a good recipe for success. Uh, we'll see what happens, but uh, we know that he's not nearly as effective uh, at scoring as he is uh, uh, on the road as he is at home. So, uh, you know, I think, um, you know, road games are going to be a little bit more contentious. It's not easy to win those games, but if you're going to continue on this winning streak and maybe match what you've done, uh, which would take, what, five more wins from them to do um, for, for the you know, best winning streak in the franchise. If you can do that, though, you know, I think there's no question you start to consider them uh, almost a shoe in for the playoffs. 44 games into the season, they have more points than they finished with last season. And by the way, in this entire eight game streak, the Avalanche have never trailed at all. So something to keep an eye out for on Saturday if you don't feel like uh, waiting for the NFL games, you can catch that. And then otherwise, we'll be back on Monday to explain who the Patriots will be playing in the Super Bowl. For TJ, I'm Sean. This is Mile High Sports.